All right. I did not conceal my eyebrows. I could have, but I didn't feel like it. This is literally how we do my makeup. I'm like, this is what I should do, but I'm not going to. It's just like unnecessary. So do you want me to? I can literally not wait to like fix my whole background like the way my lights are set up drives me crazy because like when we originally did it I guess we just didn't hang them right like this side looks great and then this side has like too much space and it really should be moved over here like the light should be moved over but I'm redoing my whole room so I need to just chill the F out I really do but now this is aggravating me there we go I don't know guys, uh, every time I try to do like a sit down video, it don't be working. I'm gonna lift this up a little bit. What's good everybody? For those who don't know me, my name is Leslie and I'm all about self care, whether it's mentally, physically, or spiritually. And today, um, I typically don't do makeup videos unless it's like educational. Um, I kind of stopped doing that because a lot of people don't watch it. They just don't, like people don't care about how I do my makeup, which is completely fine, like that's fine. But there is a trend that I've been seeing, not really a trend, it's not the word, but I've been seeing a lot of people use this new primer and um, for my birthday gift from Sephora, I got the Milk Makeup Set thingy. This is what it looks like. So I decided that I wanted to try their primer because I didn't buy it, I didn't purchase it, but it came in this little pack and like Jackie Ina is like all for it. So I wanted to give it a try. I just wanted to do my makeup for you guys. I haven't done it. I'm going to be using a bronzer that you've never seen me use before. Um, <clears throat> and then I also have a couple other milk makeup items. This is like a lip and cheek duo. But I also have this lip and cheek duo. Um, this one is for glimmer. It's a glow oil. This one just looks like it's not. This one's in the color work. And this one's in... It don't even say it literally doesn't even say like the color but you can see obviously one is red and one is gray they look small I don't know if they come like this I don't know if this is a sample size like I really don't know this came on my birthday gift this I got in another box so we'll give it a try and then it also came with like some mascara but I already know I love this mascara this is the milk makeup mascara I actually owned like the regular size one Hopefully you can see it. Can you see it? Oh, you can see it. And you can see my pimples. Woo! Um, I've owned this before. I've loved it. So I'm going to just put this away. But let me try. The really, really want the... <clears throat> Kill me. What I really wanted to try was mostly this primer. So I'm really super excited. When I say I had a lot going on today, I did. Like, I have my ring light over here. But then, like, there's some light over here, and then there's, like, no light over here. So now I have my ring light over here. But, like, you can see I'm, like, bam, on this side of my face. And it's kind of like, yeah, I'm just going to have to deal with it today. Like, lighting is just not it. It's just not it. Nothing's working. But whatever. But, yeah, I'm excited. It's, it is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Like I said, I got a sample of it. And, you know, if I really like it, I'll probably end up buying it. Because I'm really, like, a... There's, like, two things in makeup world that, like, I just can't live without. One is the fact, well not even makeup world, just things in general. There's like two products that I put on my face that I just can't live without, which is toner, like I love toners, and then primers. Like I have so much more primer than I have everything else, which doesn't make any sense. Like why I have more primer than foundation? I don't get it. I don't know, but that's who I am. I'm going to use MAC today, and yeah, let me just get into it. Let me just go. I, I already been talking to much way too much so let's get into it oh before you get started don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way you can see all my lit videos um like i said i don't typically do that many makeup videos i'm just i'm doing it today because i really want to know if i like this primer um i mostly do like self-care i do a lot of hauls and stuff like that so oh, i just opened it oh all right let's see so it's gonna be enough primer for my face who knows all right I'm just gonna look at the consistency guys see the consistency mm -hmm. it's like a jelly primer I think I like it already it doesn't smell like anything all right oh I, oh 
That's different. Because I really like Tatcha's primer. Oh, yeah. I'm going to end up buying this. Oh, my God. I love that. I love the way it feels. See, I like Tatcha because it feels like skincare. And this also feels like skincare. My nose is burning a little bit, though. I'm just going to take the rest and put it on my face anyway. I'm like shiny. All right. Let it sit for like a sec. All right, this is what my face looks like. It is, I can feel it on my hands. It's definitely sticky. I love that. All right, so let me just give it a minute. Look at that. Oh my God. I love that. I feel like my makeup's gonna stay on all day. Um, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to um, I'm going to oh my god like if I feel like my skin is like tight, it feels like skincare. It feels like I I don't know how to, any other way of explaining it, but like my face is like whoosh. oh wow I have to get this wow all right I'm gonna go ahead and um put on some setting powder. All over my face um, I know a lot of people are not used to seeing that but that's just what I do after my primer so let's go oh my god my face feels like I don't even know like heaven well that feels great all right so I put on my setting powder now I'm going to go in with Studio Fix in the shade NC45. I'm going to have to buy this primer. I, I, I love it. The way my makeup looks already. That's crazy. But like my foundation has looks so much smoother than it ever has ever. And I really think that has to do with the primer. I don't know. I'm like I'm shook. Alright, well, did that. Alright, now that I did my foundation, um, I'm gonna go in with my concealer. Um well actually what I did last time, um, I kinda wanna go in with this <clears throat> <clears throat> with this milk makeup I'm gonna use the, the glow week the glow stick actually because I, I'm gonna bake and I just really like to put all my creamy products underneath I don't like to like try to put cream on top of powder it, I mean even though I just kind of did that I don't like do it when it comes to like items like this so I'm gonna use this glimmer glow oil and I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna just slide it up see it I'm just gonna put it where I would usually put my blush let's put this here all right I don't like stuff where you put it I really would prefer like things that I have to use a brush for because I feel like this is like bacteria it drives me crazy but I think the whole point is that this is supposed to be easy to use and you should just be able to smear it on but like I feel like I just took all my like all my foundations on here I don't know how to explain it it's just like I really like that part of it but whatever just gonna go with it do a little bit on my nose like Rudolph smells amazing oh my god it smells so good but yeah um so I put that on it's like a glowy blush thing going on I could have probably put this underneath my foundation I think I done that before to be honest so I'm going to just take my beauty blender and just like, all right, I actually really, really like that. And I haven't concealed yet or anything. So milk makeup is like doing it for me. I don't know what it is. I, I The way I discovered it was like with a friend, like I knew about milk makeup, like I've seen it, but I just never really took it serious, I think. 
but I'm absolutely loving it. Oh man. I think I could use like a little bit more. I'm just used to having like a lot more color on the apples of my cheek. Such a pretty color though. Like do you see that pretty color? It's like a really pretty color. It's like light. So let's see. Now that I've done my cheeks, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do my um, concealing. I'm not a big fan of concealing my forehead or my cheeks or anything like that. I never have been. Um, I know some people, I don't know why people do it. I don't know if you just, I don't know if I just don't have like a big forehead or if like, I don't know why, to be honest, I don't know why people do it. Like, I get it. Like, I know that you want to look bright in certain places of your face and you want to look like whatever, but I, I'm just not that person. Um, I really, I always like to, like, make the difference between my makeup and other people's makeup. I like to say, like, I like to look like a princess. I don't really like to look like too, I don't like to look like a supermodel. Does that make sense? This is, uh... Studio Fix again, the concealer, and C43. I remember when I was um, at the Mac store, they were like shocked of how light that I get my concealer. Um, I do it so I don't have to like layer so much. Like I prefer to just go lighter and then just blend it out. Um, so I'm gonna do it like this little triangle right here. I didn't even do my eyebrows. Who do I think I am? That is something I should have did mad long ago. You'll see, like, I like to go on my eyelid. I don't know why I do that, but that's just what I do. <laughs> I'm just going to right in the, between my eyebrows. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to do much eyeshadow today. I'm not, I've not been a big fan of eyeshadow lately. Like, I don't know what it is about me, but I just haven't been wanting to do my eyeshadow. I don't know if it's just me being, being lazy, but whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use a dry beauty blender and apply my uh, my setting powder underneath my eye. I know people who do like multiple layers of concealer, but I'm just not that person. I'm really, really not. It depends, I guess, on the day. All right, I'm gonna go ahead oh, and scratch my ankle. Oh, we were outside and I think I got so many like, but like not bed bugs. What are they called? Mosquito bites, girl. All right, I'm gonna go in and do my brows really quick because I forgot to do them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just very politely, is that the word? Very softly get rid of my setting powder here. I just love that glow underneath. I'm so glad I did that first. I'm really glad. All right, so, oh, I'm gonna bronze my nose. I have this new bronzer that I've been loving. It is Fenty. Um, I'm one of those people, like, I'm not a very wasteful person, so I'm not gonna go and buy, like, a whole bunch of stuff and not use it, so I will wait to, like, really, really use a lot of one product, and then if, um, you know, if I've used like a good amount of it, then I'll open up a new product. I'm not gonna go unless I really just don't like it, then I'll just return it. But I'm not like a waster. Like the environment is very important to me. <laughs> and I just don't like doing too much. Like if you come over, you'll see I have a lot of stuff, but you'll see that I use my stuff. So if you're gonna get into makeup, please don't be one of those people that just like be throwing out or just be having extra everything. Um, but this is Fenty Beauty. Um, this is in the color Caramel Cutie. I like it because it's very lightweight and cute. Um, it's way lighter than the other bronzer that I usually do. Um, but what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to contour my nose. And then I'm going to contour the rest of my face real quick. Alright, so to contour my nose, let's just start over. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a line here to the bridge of my nose. It's just easier than what I was trying to do before. I'm just going to blend her out.
I'm gonna take like a little bit of setting powder and I'm going to just put it on my nose for a bit. This is what I usually do, but I was trying to do a different technique and it didn't work, so I just cut it out. <laughs> cut it out. All right, and then I'm gonna take that same bronzer and just contour the parts of my nose that I want. I'm gonna take it, take this little brush, and I'm just gonna There we go. My nose looks still really big. I'm gonna put some around here. All right, and then I'm going to just <clears throat> beauty blend her out. Um, it looks really big because the other trick that I try to do, I try to bronze my whole face and it did not work. My nose looks huge right now. It's fine, just ignore that whole thing. <laughs> it's literally fine. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use a little bit more of this. Uh, milk makeup and I'm just gonna put it on the bridge of my nose because I'm I'm using it as like a blush it's like no big deal it's like a glow oil so and I really want to use this as much as I, as I can to see what I can use it for all right I don't know I don't really like that mm. the way I did my nose I kind of fucked it up like just bronzing every the whole thing because what I was trying to do is I was trying to contour it but I, I am doing a bad job I did a really bad job so we're just gonna ignore the whole nose cut that whole thing out all right, so now that I have majority of my face done, um, I am going to use this bronzer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I'm going to also um, do like a little bit of my eyelid because I don't feel like wearing found, I mean eyeshadow. So I'll usually take some of this and I will. All right, perfect. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just, <clears throat> I'm gonna put a little bit more highlighter on my face because I kind of feel like it could use a little bit more. I'm gonna use Trophy Wife. I'm gonna just use a really little bit of it. Um, like when I say tiny, I'm, I'm literally, I literally mean tiny bit. So I'm gonna take like this brush. It's a really big brush and I'm gonna just literally barely That's, you see how small this brush is? Very minimal. All right, and I'm gonna just take my beauty blender and just blend her out a little bit. I just needed a little bit more of a glow, but I'm really digging this milk blush. I love how like it just, it looks like my natural skin. Oh my God, I love that. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and take an eyeliner because I'm not gonna be putting eyeliner on the top of my eye this time. I'm gonna use this Kat Von D cake pencil and I am going to line the inside of the top lash so like right in here got my contacts in so you saw that I put the eyeliner in the inside of my eye I'm not putting underneath under uh, I am not putting anything underneath my eye like usually like people put like bronzer or eyeshadow I'm just not doing that today I just really want to look natural I don't want to look like too crazy today and I really just wanted to try that milk makeup and that primer so I'll see how that works um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face um, since I'm looking for more of a glowy I'm gonna use the power up this is like my favorite setting spray um, that is for like when I want to look dewy or I don't know. I think it has like aloe vera in it. Let me see. I don't know what they have. Yeah, it has aloe in it. Not aloe vera. Aloe. Um, which hazel, things like that. Um, but it really, really works really, really well. Um, I really love it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. Now I'm going to put on lashes. Um, like I said, I, I this is how I've been looking most of the time these days. Um, I really haven't been like too decked out um, so I'm going to put on some lashes this is as decked as I'm gonna get All right, so I use the Les Los Angeles lash book most of the time alright so I am going to pick from one of these 
I just don't know what one I want to use. I'm going to go with Shorty because they're pretty. They're so pretty. Love it. So let me go ahead and put these on. All right, so I put my lashes on. I'm in love. All right, guys, so I put my lashes on. I haven't even done my hair. What time is it? I have time. So last, guys, I'm going to use the Milk Makeup, what is this again? Blush and Lip Duo on my lips and see if I like it. I'm going to wipe some of it off, though, because I got foundation on there. It's a pretty color, though. Michelle's here, guys. All right, so let me see. Yeah, it's like a gloss. I would not put that on your cheek. I already did. You did? Where? Mm -hmm. It's on my cheeks. You can't see it. Mm -hmm. It's more pronounced on it's your... It's so natural. That's because like I blended it in, but if you look like right here... Oh, you can see a little tint. Yeah. Oh, okay, then that's good. Do that. Yeah. It Do looks that. nice. Whoa. Yeah. All right, so I used it on my lips. I'm not really a fan of it on my lips, guys. All right, it's fine. That's because I'm in love with Fenty's lip gloss. Like, if it's not Fenty, like, I don't, I don't really. I don't. So, alright, so, my final, I'm pretty much done, guys, with my makeup, so, I'm gonna see how the primer works throughout the day. I don't really like the way my makeup looks today. I don't really, I'm not feeling it. I feel, like, jacked up. I think I'm just tired and hungry, so, um, we'll see. We'll see how the primer works with the foundation for the rest of the day. Um, the foundation looks really good, but the rest of my face, I'm not really feeling it. I think that's just my fault. I just didn't do a good job. Um, so I will let you guys know a little bit later how the primer works out. I just look this, I just feel a little patchy. I don't usually look, I don't usually look patchy. This is odd for me. I don't really usually look like that, but... All right, we'll see. I mean, the way that the primer felt, though, I love the glow stick. I, I really do love it. I just not sure about the primer quite yet because it has only been like two minutes. So we'll see. All right. I'll see you guys later. Please. All right, guys. So, ooh, ooh, it's bright. All right. So this is my face, guys, at the end of the day. I am an oily, hot mess. But I don't believe it's the primer's fault. I like <laughs> I don't believe it's the primer's fault. I truly believe that it's just it started raining. It was hot. And then I was sweating. And then it started raining. And then I was out in the rain. So this, all this is not really the makeup's fault. I did my makeup around 9 o'clock this morning and it is almost about 9 o'clock now. No, it's like 8.30. Yeah, almost around 9. So, I don't know. I mean, I would, I'm going to get the primer, personally. I really like it. And my video this morning was a shit show. Like, it was rough. Like, I had so much. I was so hungry that I couldn't even think. I couldn't even think. I was telling my friend Michelle when she walked in, I was like, I'm trying to do this video, but, like, I am not thinking straight. But, yeah, I mean, I think I'm going to go ahead and get the larger size. Um, I don't believe that the reason why my makeup looks like this at the end of the day is the primer's fall. I think I had everything to do with who got burping um, had everything to do with just like my day I was uh, went shopping I got had to get so much stuff for my living room I read did not read to my living room but I just added a few things so yeah but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, it was just a random makeup video I don't really do makeup videos anymore um, but sometimes I will so uh, I will see you guys later have a nice night Peace.